You probably remember that show, Max and Ruby, from when you were a kid, right? But what I bet you don't remember is how much of a stupid bitch Ruby was. So today, I'm gonna remind you. Max and Ruby was a show that aired on Nick Jr. about these two troubled rabbits that grew up without parents and had to solve conflicts on their own. Like, the whole premise is that their parents are always gone. Like, weekends, weekdays, holidays, you name it. They're not even there for their child's own birthday. Just like in the black communities, rabbits love to neglect their children. Like, uh, they just love to pump it and dump it. They're just on to the next one, and they don't have time to make sure the last children turn out okay. And Max and Ruby didn't turn out okay. Max doesn't know how to talk, and Ruby is a sociopath. Society turned Max into a villain. He wasn't born a schemer. He became a schemer after his parents abandoned him the day he was born. He had to turn to the dark side after those years of torment from his own sister. Max and Ruby is literally the root of all my trust issues with women. Because I relate to Max. I'm a man of few words, I have a big heart, and I'm also kind of retarded. So when I saw Max being taken advantage of for being those things, I started to watch my back. It made me think, these sluts are out to get me. Now whenever I have a class and my teacher is a woman, I just automatically quit because women can't tell me what to do. Women don't know things. And also, when I'm on a date with a girl, which happens all the time, by the way, and she's like, hey, can you buy me a pretzel? I forgot my wallet. I'm like, no, bitch, I forgot to give a fuck, and I'd fucking leave. This show turned me into a sexist. I didn't want to be one, I became one after watching this show as a kid. But now that I've made the claim that Ruby is a stupid bitch, I have to back up that claim with evidence. So let's watch an episode that proves my point titled Max's Halloween. And you know, it's perfect because it is October, it is Halloween. I just, I just sprayed this pumpkin spray, and I'm always, I'm in the, I'm in the mood to get down and sexy, you know? Max and Ruby. Ruby and Max. I don't know how they did it, but they made a banger intro just by repeating the words Max and Ruby in different ways, which is very impressive. That's nice. That's good stuff, guys. But the episode titled Max's Halloween starts off with Ruby telling Max that he better be ready when her friend Luis gets here, or she's going to waterboard him in the bathtub again. Max, who just wants to have fun on Halloween, tries to spook Ruby with his vampire teeth. And the look that Ruby gave Max after he did that made my skin crawl with rage. That face tells me everything I need to know. Ruby thinks this is a perfect opportunity for her to enforce her power on Max and, you know, take away all of his happiness by dressing him up as her little Halloween doll. No, Max. That is too scary. Teeth, please. I'm going to dress up like Cinderella and you're going to be a little prince. This bitch is lying. She is just trying to manipulate Max into feeling bad about wearing vampire teeth because it doesn't fit into her perfect princess plan for how Halloween is supposed to go. What a fucking dumb bitch. She then tells Max to hurry up and get into the outfit she picked out for him or he's not going to get any treats. She knows the only source of happiness in Max's life is playing with his toys and eating his treats and she uses that against him to get what she wants. What a manipulative bitch. Then you get to see how full of herself she is when she puts on that old, ugly, baggy pink dress and then she looks at herself in the mirror and says she looks like Cinderella. No you don't, you delusional, self-absorbed bitch. You're not based in reality if you think you look anything like Cinderella, you stupid bitch. You look like five pounds of carrots shoved in a three pound bag, that's what you look like. Something's missing. Yes, something's missing, Ruby. Your parents, they need to be there so they can beat that self-centered bitchy attitude right out of you. Ruby then walks into Max's room to show off her new dress, expecting a compliment, but instead she finds that Max is in a vampire costume again. She tells Max in her usual condescending tone that princes don't have pointy teeth, princes don't have fake hands, princes don't wear black capes. Ruby, he knows that. That's why he's wearing it. He doesn't want to be a prince. What little boy wants to be a prince on Halloween, you fucking stupid bitch? Ruby, after impatiently telling Max to hand over his belongings and rolling her eyes at him, takes his stuff and shoves it into a drawer and tells Max something that makes my blood boil. Little princes wear red capes, Max. And they do what princesses tell them to do. 
Why do you keep feeding Max lies? Princes don't do what princesses say. Max's whole life is a lie at this point. He doesn't have a father figure to tell him what's right and wrong. Instead, all he has is this bitchy sister who is feeding him this feminist bullshit. Ruby then holds out her hand with her eyes closed expectantly like she's waiting for a dog to give back its bone. But when Ruby goes back to her room to look at herself in the mirror some more, Max literally just opens the drawer and takes back all his stuff and starts playing with it again. I mean, Max isn't that retarded. He knows how to open a fucking drawer for goodness sake. Meanwhile, Ruby is in her room putting on what she calls Cinderella makeup because she sees herself as a princess. The secret to good makeup is not to overdo it. <clears throat> she is such a hypocritical bitch. I mean, she literally said the secret to putting on makeup was to not to overdo it. And then she continued to overdo it. Now a little lipstick. Ruby Red. My favorite. That was not a little bit of lipstick you slathered on, you sturdy fucking slut. And also, what kind of a psychopath talks to themselves about their favorite color of lipstick? And we know Ruby Red is your favorite just because it has your name in it, you narcissistic bitch! This part always confused me as a kid. Why does she kiss a tissue? Is it to make sure she's slathered on enough lipstick so when she kisses a boy, it leaves a mark? No need to worry about that, Ruby, because you won't be kissing any boys anytime soon, you fucking dirty slut. Ruby, it doesn't matter how much makeup you slather on the outside, it's not gonna cover up the darkness that's on the inside. Anyway, after Ruby is satisfied with the five pounds of makeup she caked on her face, all she needs now is her little prince. But once again, the mischievous Max is wearing the vampire costume. And Ruby, that stubborn-headed bitch, takes away Max's vampire teeth again. A little prince is much better than a vampire. Bitch! What the fuck? That is your opinion. Keep that shit to yourself. And she also says Grandma doesn't want to be frightened by a vampire. What are you, a fucking psychic? Little princes wear red capes, Max. What kind of prince wears a black cape? Uh, how about a prince that wants to wear a black cape? Ruby keeps pulling these rules out of her ass. They aren't based in reality. They only support the psychotic fantasies that are going on inside of her tiny rabbit brain. Maybe the theory about her parents dying in a car crash is actually true, except Max isn't the one that got the head trauma. It's Ruby because she's acting really fucking retarded. Anyway, the doorbell rings and it's her friend Luis, who is not an illegal immigrant, a Hispanic man, which I would have guessed from the name. It's just another little girl whose mind seems to be infected with the same stuff as Ruby's. I wish I had thought of Rapunzel. I wish I had thought of Cinderella. <laughs> yeah, me and Max are on the same page here. What the fuck are these fake bitches talking about? Like, I wouldn't be surprised if the next thing that came out of Luis's mouth is that Ruby's makeup looks good. And that she didn't overdo it, even though she obviously did. I mean, she literally has makeup particles in her esophagus right now. What the fuck? But Ruby's bitchiness hasn't even peaked. Take a look at this. Who are you dressed up as? Can't you tell? Max is a little... <gasps> Vampire! <sighs> okay, Max. Be a scary vampire. But scary vampires don't get treats. That's right. That's not right, Ruby. Everything you just said was completely wrong. How much more gaslighting can Max take? I mean, if I was Max, I would have wished I died in that car crash with my parents. But Max, being the sweetheart that he is, stays positive and is just happy that he gets to go out there dressed as a vampire. Nobody's wearing a scary costume except you, Max. You might not get as many treats. Fuck you, Ruby, you manipulative piece of shit. And, oh, and did you notice how Ruby was holding Luis's hand? Yeah, Ruby's a lesbian now, because she knows that no man will want to get close to her stinky pussy. Trick or treat! treat. <laughs> what the fuck are you guys laughing about? Vampire! See? Told you, Max. Hmm. Oh, you told him, Ruby? 
You told him nice and good? Okay, we'll see. We'll see, Ruby. Let's just take a look, okay? So then they show up at Grandma's house, and Ruby's dumbass is bewildered. She doesn't know why there are spider webs on Grandma's house. I think Ruby's psycho ass doesn't know the difference between fantasy and reality. Like, bitch, you're not actually a princess, and those five-pound spiders made of plastic aren't real. She's such a narcissist that she won't let her three-year-old retard brother ring the doorbell, because it might mean that her grandma might give her a few less treats because that's all she thinks that stupid bitch is meant for. But Ruby goes ahead and rings the doorbell. Let's see what happens. Trick or treat! <gasps> yeah, that's right, look away! Look away, bitch! You just lost! Max just took the fucking W. Go home, eat some carrots, and look at yourself in the mirror, and look how much of a fucking dumb bitch you are, you fucking stupid bitch. What was all that shit you were saying earlier about how grandma doesn't want to be scared by a vampire? Grandma doesn't want to be frightened by a vampire. Say that shit again, I dare you, you stupid bitch. And that's why this episode is titled, Max's Halloween, not Ruby's Halloween, because it doesn't matter how much you boss him around and you give him your bitchy attitude, he's still gonna come out on top with the fucking W. It's his show, bitch. It's not called Ruby and Max. The show's called Max and Ruby. Ah, <sighs> nothing makes me feel better than seeing a stuck up nasty slut get fucked. Because to be honest, nasty sluts like Ruby add nothing to this world. All sluts do is they put on makeup and they say dumb shit. What the fuck is the point of that? If Ruby knew what was right for her, she would just shut her mouth, learn how to do the dishes, and do that all day. Because that's all she's good for. Narcissistic people are the worst type of people. Especially narcissistic bitches. Because they don't have jobs. They don't contribute anything to the world, so I don't know why, th why they live. Like that narcissistic bitch Ruby should either learn how to cook and clean, or bunny hop her ass off of a tall fucking bridge and die. Because nobody would fucking miss her. Now, why I completely stand by everything I just said, I, uh, I probably have made the mistake in the past of considering all women to be narcissists. Like, I honestly feel bad for all those years of punkanizing my sisters, you know, pulling their hair and slapping them, because I thought they were just like Ruby, when in reality, they weren't. Ruby was just an evil bitch, and my sisters weren't, you know? So I, I'm sorry for that, sisters. But you know what? I'll make it up to my sisters because I have the rest of my life to do it, you know? But as for finding a wife that isn't a dumb slut that will ruin my life, that seems a bit tougher, you know? But hopefully there's still some loving, caring ladies out there like Max's grandma because if there isn't, I'm gonna blow my brains out of the back of my head. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Maybe. You know, if I don't, maybe, maybe I might have blown my fucking brains out of my head because that, you know?